just about every day, I have somebody ask me, why does this keep happening to me? Why do I keep attracting the same people? Why do they keep cheating on me? Why this scenario? Why that scenario? What's going on? Okay, I will share this with everybody. Sweetheart, it's called a life lesson. And this life lesson will repeat itself until you learn the life lesson, plain and simple. You attract whatever kind of people you're attracting. Stop. Ask yourself, why am I attracting this? What am I doing wrong? I would bet dollars to donuts, it's a boundary issue. Do you have good, strong boundaries? Do you respect your own boundaries? No means no. Do you respect that? We teach people how to treat us. What are you teaching them? You know, what are we doing? If, I'm, I'm going to be very hypothetical, and this is based on what I hear most of the time. So let's say, and I hear this from men and women. So you're seeing people, somebody, you really like them. You want it to be just the two of you, okay? Have the conversation in no uncertain terms. Speak plain English. We're not going to be on dating apps. We're not going to be chatting with other people. We're not going to be hanging around baby mama, baby daddy inappropriately. It's one thing to pick up the kids. It's another thing to go to a birthday party. That's fine. Meeting up at a club, going out to dinner together, unless it is talking about something with the kids. I mean, if you have to have a conversation over coffee, that's fine. Anything a little, you know, a little sketchy, mm -mm. have the conversation that you're not going to be dating other people. You're not going to be sleeping with other people. Nothing inappropriate with other people. Have the conversation. Make sure both of you agree to this, that it's not, I never agreed to it. Come on, make sure you're both in it. If they're not, they don't respect you. They don't respect your boundaries. See you, bye. If they don't respect you, if they don't respect your boundaries, that's the end of it. That's it, right there. Don't care how cute they are, how much money they have, what their job is, who they know, don't care. If they don't respect you and your boundaries, they got to go. They got to go. So everything's going fine. And then you start getting that gut feeling, something's up. Something isn't right. They're not where they're supposed to be. Something isn't right. Do not snoop in their phone. Do not snoop in their purse and or wallet. Do not, what, what's, I'm trying to think of the name of the show, cheat, don't contact cheaters. You know, don't, don't, don't start spying on them. If you are in a relationship, any relationship is built on trust. If you start doubting them, that trust is already fractured. That trust is broken. That tells you something right there. The relationship is ending. Step back, let it go. If you're doubting them, if they're doubting you, think about it. The trust is broken. Are you doubting them because you're doing things you're not supposed to be doing? Because what's good for the goose is good for the, for the gander. You know, what goes around comes around. If you have agreed not to be talking to people, not to be on dating apps, not to be doing this and that, don't do it. Don't. Because if it's found out, you get what you deserve. You're not trustworthy. You're being dishonest. You're being disloyal. You know, we teach people how to treat us. Look at the relationships. Why are they always cheating on you? Because you're letting them. Because it happens, and they're sorry, and it won't happen again, and a hundred million excuses, and they're not even good excuses, and you let them back in. And they do it again. It's repetitive. It's a cycle. They don't respect you enough to respect your boundary. They know damn good and well your boundaries mean nothing to them. Because you may have boundaries except for them. Because with them, there's an exception to the rule. There are no exceptions. Boundaries across the board. If they disrespect you once, if they cheat on you, call you out of your name, raise their hand to you, throw something at you, hurt 
you, your kids, your car, your pets, game over, see you bye, been fun. That's it. No do-overs, no going back. I don't care how much they beg and plead and apologize. No, not going to happen. Create your boundaries. Once you have established these boundaries, it's going to be hard. You might be alone for a bit because these people are going to keep coming at you. It's a test. That's all it is, is a test. Prove that you have boundaries. You have self-respect. You have dignity. You're not going to let people mistreat you. You're not going to let them disrespect you, your kids, your property, your pets. Not going to happen. They're not calling you out of your name. They're not cheating on you. Okay? Be strong. And then you're going to start attracting what you're worth. You're going to be attracting people that treat you with dignity and respect, who are loyal to you. Because if somebody cares about you, they would never hurt you. If they love you, honey, they would never hurt you under any circumstances, ever. If they love you, they're not going to cheat on you. If they love you and somebody approaches them, they're going to say, hey, I'm involved. Sorry, not interested. And by the same token, you have to do the same thing. But it's a test. It's life lessons. Let's say you learn the life lessons. Life is going good. And a year from now, well, damn, something pops up. It's a pop quiz. Just to make sure, hey, how are you doing with those boundaries? You know? Change your attitude. Change your perspective. Look at your self-esteem. You are worthy. You are so worthy of love and respect and dignity and boundaries. You are worthy of a relationship where they respect your boundaries. They're not going to abuse you. They're not going to abuse your money, your property. Think about it. Now, just off the topic, just a tiny bit. Let's say that you have a friend who is always, you know, can you loan me $10? Can you loan me $5? If they're not paying you back, stop loaning them money. Again, it's boundaries. You wonder why relatives come to you wanting to borrow your car, wanting to borrow your credit card, wanting to borrow money, because you let them. They know, well, so-and-so didn't pay her back. I'm not going to pay her back either. Screw that. We teach people how to treat us. No means no. No, I am not loaning you more money until you pay me what you owe me. No, you're not using my car because you've used my car in the past and you never put gas in it. You know, there's a dent. You know, you got to take it. Whatever. No is no. Don't let people crash on your sofa and stay in your house if they're not contributing to the household. And don't let that, well, they're watching my kids while I'm at work. Are they? Are they sitting on, you know, using the, what is it, an Xbox smoking weed all day and your kids are doing and God only knows what? Find out. You know, I just can't stress it enough. We allow people to treat us. We teach them to treat us a certain way. Find out what that message is. What are you telling people? How are you telling them to treat you? In my world, you're either going to respect me or you're not. And if you're not, see you bye. Very plain, very simple, very cut and dried. I'm perfectly happy. I am content. I have wonderful friends. I have a good life. You can too. Respect yourself. Respect your boundaries. Create strong boundaries. You are worthy. Honey, you are so worthy. Just make it happen.